Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a brand new Grant song. I am a absolutely huge Grant fan, uh, and this is sort of a tradition, I guess, at this point, to do a live kind of reaction, first listen to a Grant track, just because I, I love the artist so much. He's easily in my top five of producers all time. Uh, I love everything he does. So uh, with that, I guess, out of the way, um, I'm excited to hop into this brand new track uh, featuring Will J called High Enough. And I think this is going to be a little bit more uh, poppy would be my guess. It is labeled dance such electronic pop or Electropop from uh, the Monster Cat website. And so, uh, yeah, this is his first release in quite some time. Dead Man Walking was his last one, and that was July 2022. So High Enough is now, it's been more than a year, uh, and Grant is finally back on Monster Cat. Um, and I guess back in general, this is his last single since Dead Man Walking. So, um, oh no, I guess there was All I Need, um, which came out right after too. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, without any further ado, I'm excited and let's hop into this. Uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what style this is going to be. If it's going to be more like Deb and Walking or kind of more old school or I have a, I have a feeling it's going to be more like Move On would be my guess. But uh, here we go. This is High Enough. Oh. Sounds a lot like Dead Man Walking so far. I, wow, this is fun. Okay, yeah. Okay. Wow, this was really fun. Okay, I did not expect that style of track from Grant here. This feels like another Ellis collab. Like, it, it feels like a, a, another style of Dead Man Walking or just another... Um not addition, but it feels like a, like a um, a natural progression of just sound and evolution of style from Dead Man Walking. It it feels like that, like just with its um, just I don't know funkiness is maybe the best way to put it. I, <laughs> wow. Uh, I also want to say that Will J. I feel like sounds a lot like Conroe. I don't know why, but I just feel like he sounds a lot like Conroe. I'm a little bit of a higher range than I think Conroe normally does, uh, but as there's many parts of that where I felt like this sounded like a a Grant Conroe Ellis collaboration of sorts. So, uh, but yeah, this was, um, I'm now starting to think back. I'm like, maybe some of that more, uh, that, that instrument station sound design from Dead Man Walking was more Grant than Ellis. Um, unless maybe Grant was just uh, inspired from that song to this one. So um, great track. I, I genuinely, I mean, I, I'm a huge Grant fan always. And um, this is, I think, one of the better songs, even on Monster Cat, I'd say this year. Um, I'm 
I mean, yeah, I say that about every Grant release, but like the, some of the ones in the past, I was like a, not so like hot, hot on right off the bat other than Deb and Walking, but man, freaking, I love this thing. Um, I just love its funkiness. I it, it feels like a weird mix of both like a funk and the future bass. And there's like this, I don't even know how to describe it. There's, there's like two attacking or two like um, counter layers kind of happening in the drops. There's like the, the top half kind of really bright synth melody, kind of the future bass sounds that Grant had done in the past. And then the kind of really like deeper, uh, just toned, more um, baseline focused kind of funk uh, still taking though like a like a sub melody of sorts. It's not really like the baseline. There's like the three layers here. It's like you got your high synth, you got your like low kind of growl of sorts and then your baseline and then it's just like it just it's this dancing back and forth that i just really appreciated and i man and the song felt longer than i expected it to um for being just under three minutes it felt like a longer song to me and maybe just because it's a first listen um for me and it's just something i need to get used to more and hear the songs more but it felt it felt longer it felt longer than three minutes so, uh, cause it just kind of kept going. There wasn't really any low kind of parts of the song. It didn't really get at this low dip. Um, Will J's vocals kind of just kept going all throughout versus chorus. It was just kind of just a run and run and run and run, which I think helped add to the kind of, um, get goingness of the track. I hope that makes sense. But, uh, also I can see this song doing mad well streaming wise. Um, I had, I think this has the potential to hit some, some, some numbers, uh, for Grant because it just feels uh, it, it feels like a, a good mix of what it what can be and has proven to be commercially successful in the past um, and still stay very true to the kind of grant sound and production elements. So uh, I am very excited to see the future of this song and where it's going to be. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts on uh, on the new track, on the new single, High Enough. Huge, huge fan. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. But uh, other than that, I am Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.